welcome back to my channel so today i'm showing you how to make this card so i'm taking the i can't pronounce it but it's a crafter's companion it's a little bird um stamp and i'm gonna be cutting this out so it didn't really bother me too much about the outside images um so this card is for a girl who is an administrator on a crafting group that i'm with which is called the card of the month club and she sent me a message a couple of days ago when I filmed this um, <laughs> saying that she would like to put my card in that I made to be one of the participants that could possibly win the card of the month. And waking up to that on that day just made my entire day so much better. And I really wanted to say thank you. So I sent her a thank you card, which I made a while back, which is on my channel. And I also wanted to make her something a little cute so I thought I'd use this so I'm just gonna color this in using some pro markers so I'll insert a time frame and some music guys and I'll also speed it up a little bit so I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in a second <laughs> coloring and cut that out with just my scissors I brought back in my stamp platform and I'm taking one of the stamps from the spring days I think it's called which is by pretty pink posh so she has something like she's playing in a field of flowers or something originally I was going to do a picket fence but to purchase that day it would have took about a month to get to me and I just didn't see the point so Thought I'd use something that I already had in my stash, and this is the outcome. Also, I apologize for that bit. I was zoomed in. I didn't really notice. So, I'll insert some more music and speed this up again until the next step. <laughs>
I cut that out, I'm just using it and marking where the thing is. So basically I needed to add some color to the bottom to make it look like grass. So I just did a line of that so it's the same measurement and height. And I bring in my bamboo leaves for the grass portion and then I bring in tumble glass which is a distressed oxide ink. It's probably my most go-to now for any background card if I want to do some scenery. So I definitely recommend it. Um, yeah, so I just used that on the background. I don't show you the process because I think it just takes too long. Um, and I also brought in the grass scene stencil by Waffle Flower to add some clouds into the background. So it was kind of obvious that it was the sky, if that makes sense. So yeah, so this is what the image looks like. I think it's so cute. It just reminds me of something like a little doll, I guess you could say. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I was trying to work out the best placements for my um, clouds, and this is what I ended up going with. And yeah, I love how this card turned out. I think it's one of my favorites today. Um, I just think it's so cute. You could use this stamp for any little um, little girl's card, or you could use it for somebody that you know who's a bird watcher, you know, and likes watching the birds. So yeah, I guess you could do that. So I love peeling my stencils away once I've finished ink blending. I love the crisp clear images that come with it. So I'm going to use my Tombow Mono Liquid Aqua Glue to glue down the images. And then I use some 3D foam adhesive squares for the flowers just to prop those up a little bit. And then I brought in some embellishments by Little Things and Lucy. So I brought in Snowball um, soft snowball mix and I also added some bubbles if I remember rightly to the dandelions and I brought Wink of Stella in to add some glitter to her hair bowls and the clouds I just realized that I actually used a Spectrum Nell no sparkle pen for her hair bowls but they both do the same thing um, sometimes my Spectrum Nell no pen can be too much um, Whereas my Wink of Stella is just enough. Um, also, Wink of Stella has more of a gold tone to it, whereas the Wink of the Wink of <laughs> I've got Wink of Stella on the brain, guys. Whereas the Spectrum No actually has more of a silver tone. So, if you needed to know the difference, that's the difference. I also used a stamp from the Beach Chicks for the sentiment. So it says, "Wishing you an amazing day," like she made my day. So I hope this helps bring a smile to her. Um, I love the message she sent me. She sent me a message saying that she was currently working from home in her backyard and it was really warm over there. They have a heat wave just like we do, um, but there's just a little bit warmer. <laughs> and she said that she really wished that she had a pool in her yard and that she was pretending her desk was like one of the swim up pool bars that you have on holiday. So I thought that was really funny. So she really made my day with that as well. So a big shout out to Jackie. Also, I will link down the Facebook group if you guys want to check it out. And yeah, so that's it for my video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below, and follow me over on my Instagram and subscribe, guys, because it really makes a difference to me. And yeah, so I'll see you in my next video, guys. Stay safe and happy crafting.